In the studio with is a long-distance traveler presentation and filmed at Conrad Photography in Lawrencetown, Nova Scotia. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of In the Studio With. Today we're taking a look at the Crate Strat HSS. <laughs> They don't build them like they used to. So what was once an inexpensive guitar, say 15 years ago, would now be a more moderately priced guitar just because the build quality back then on a lot of different companies was much more durable, much more better fit and finish then than it is now for lower priced guitars. So by that measure, I am thoroughly impressed with a guitar that I really expected nothing from. That double in the lead has a really sharp, powerful sound. And it has, you know, very much the Strat sound. Sometimes I think some of these guitars sound more Strat than my Strat. So I don't know that I've ever found a marking on this guitar that said where it was from, but I can tell you it was produced in a good way. Uh, I'm guessing either Indonesia or Korea. Um, it's solid, the neck is solid, the tuners are, the tuner and the tailpiece on this are better than my Mexican Strat. A much hotter signal, of course, coming out of the double as opposed to my Mexican Strat, which is a single in the lead. Uh, typical volume, vo uh, volume and two tones, five position switch. Very comfortable, very stable, very solid feeling guitar. You know, clearly there are inexpensive guitars out there that are junkers and no amount of um, adjustment is going to make them good. And then there's just the ones that were built right to begin with and they're just, they're just solid guitars regardless of what name is on the headstock. <laughs> Price difference between something like this and something that was built to a much higher and much more expensive standard. You pay a lot more money to get a little bit better, just a little bit better. Let's play with some overdrive. <laughs> Sounds for you. <laughs> 